Are you tired of struggling with outdated methods of creating survey, quiz and polls? Do you want to streamline your data collection process and save time? And looking for some of robust solutions? Unlike collecting data in Microsoft Excel, which sometimes also create permission issue. Look no further guys, because today in this video, I will talk about Microsoft Form. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will see how we can utilize Microsoft Form to collect data. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing here we need to do is we need to open office.com. And guys, the good thing is Microsoft Form is completely free. Whether you use commercial version of Office, personal version, or even the free version of Office, Microsoft Form is completely free. All you need to do is open office.com. If you already have got your license, then simply logged in. Else simply sign up and get started. Okay, so after that, what here we need to do is we need to click here on this menu button. And then here we need to search for form. So let me type here form. And there we go, guys. Let's click on it. And then here we can see we are being redirected to Microsoft form. And it looks like this guys, which is, I would say, a very minimalistic interface, just like any other office application. So here we quickly can get started using these templates, but I would like to create something from scratch. For that, let me quickly click here on new form. And actually we also have option to quickly import any Word or PDF file. So if you have got data ready in Word or PDF, you can quickly get started. In my case, I do not have. So I would like to start with new form. And probably I will also create a separate video on how we can quickly get started using Microsoft Word. Okay, so here you can see, we are seeing an untitled form. So first of all, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna give it a name. So for example, uh, travel diary i'm just planning for a travel so here i would like to collect feedback from my colleagues and friends i would like to invite so the title here is travel diary and then here i can you know write this is form to collect recommendation for our trip Okay, so it is up to you if you would like to add some, you know, description that going to ease other people in terms of understanding what this form is all about. Now here we also have option to add image. So I'm going to add a travel image here. Let's see how it look like. Okay, so probably I can go with this one. Let's add it here. Okay, so this look really nice guys. Now here, using these options, we can create a beautiful data collection questionnaire. So let's start with the choice first, okay? So let me quickly click on this choice and here we have got this question. Okay, so first question here could be the name of the person. So let's click here on this question suggestion and let's see what kind of question it suggests. And I think the first one is the perfect choice to get started, which is full name. And I also would like to go with phone number, which I would say is must have data field. So let's click here on add selected. And in this way, guys, we quickly got started with these two questions. Now I would like to go with my own type of questions. So I do not want any other recommendation. And then here we also can make some of these questions mandatory, for example, phone number, which I think should be mandatory because a lot of time what happened that when we do not have phone number of colleague or friend, then it is really challenging to invite them. Now I'm going to add one new question here, which will be of choice type. And let me click here on choice and here. I am adding this question, which is best time to visit. So again, it depends on person to person. Some people prefer to visit or, you know, go outside during summer. Other prefer to go in spring or some may prefer to go in fall. 
So let me quickly create all these options so that you know everybody can choose this based on their need. So let me quickly create these options which is spring, fall and here look at it guys how intelligent Microsoft Form is. It is actually offering me the options that I really need it and you know if it does not offer me these options then probably I would have added them manually. So this is really nice and then probably people would like to prefer to travel not only in spring but in fall as well. So here you can also enable multiple answer which is up to you and you can actually limit that as well. So if let's say you know you want people to select only two options or three options you can define it here which I would say is really cool. Now let me click here on add new and this time I would like to add another choice type question which is what activity do you suggest for this destination and then um, again here the software is intelligent enough it is actually offering us some of these activities which is training, HR, engineering, research, marketing which I'm not going to do because we are actually planning to visit some place to enjoy. So I'm going to add activities like hiking, swimming. So let me do that. I'm going to say hiking and here we will also see you know if Microsoft Form is smart enough and going to offer us these kind of activity. So hiking is one and then swimming and then sightseeing and you know a lot of people also love shopping so that's why I'm gonna add shopping here and then option 5 could be tracking and there is a reason actually you know why I have added option 5 sometimes we think that the choice can be only 4 that's not the case guys we can add as many choices as we want now and let's click here on add new and this time I would like to go with a rating type option. Now here I'm going to paste this question. So this is rating type and then depend on what exactly we want. Now I'm going to click here on add new. And here we can see we not only have got this choice text rating and date. But we have got this ranking, like it, upload file, net promoter score and section option. So I'm going to create a new section here. And then here I would like to ask questions from the people regarding their budget. So I'm going to rename the section name to budget. Okay. And let's ask the first question which will be what should be our budget for the trip. Okay. And then I'm going to create a branching scenario by this question. So let's see the first option is $2,000 and second answer is $1,500. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new question which again will be choice type and here I will say that choose the place to visit under $1,500. Okay, and here I can give option like China, Japan, and then India, and Australia. So these are the countries that we can visit under 1500. Now I'm going to create another question. As I said that, you know, this will be branching scenario. So let's see how we're going to do that. Now again I'm going to ask same question here as well and then option here I'm going to provide is USA very expensive then um, Germany South Korea and uh, the last country will be UAE okay now after I would like to add the last option which is email address let's click add selected and there we go we have got this ready now here in this case I'm going to create this branching scenario let me click here on this three dot and then I'm going to add add branching 
So now what I'm gonna do is whenever somebody select budget as 2000, he should be moved to this question, which is related to places to visit under 2000. And then regarding this one, we're going to choose the location where one can visit under $1,500. So I'm gonna select option seven here. And then after selecting question seven, we would like to go directly to email address. So let's click on email address. So in this way guys, this won't move to this next question, but we'll skip this and we'll move directly to this email address. Now let's click back. And now let's have a look on it. So this is how this form look like. Now let's click on preview. Okay, so this is how the whole form look like. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click here on style. And then here, I actually can change the look and feel of it. So if this one look good, you can keep it. So in this way, we can further customize it. And then you also have option to add background music. So if somebody enable it, one can choose music from like this. So let me actually disable it. Now let's click on collect response. And now here yeah, basically you have got these multiple ways to collect response. You can actually share this link with your colleague or friend. And in that way they can fill it up. You can also invite somebody to fill this form. You can even create a QR code and then ask, you know, your colleague to scan it so that they can reach to this form. You also have option to embed it in a website. Let's say you would like to collect data from a lot of people. Then in that case, you can embed it. So again, it's up to you how you would like to proceed. Now, in my case, I would like to copy this link and then let me quickly fill this form up. Okay, so travel diary and then here we can see this form is collect recommendation for our trip. So let's click on start now. Now here I can put my name, which is Preetam and my phone number. And then best time to visit spring, fall. And then here we cannot select more than two option. Now here, what activity I suggest for destination. I'm gonna say hiking and then here how important is accommodation comfort for you I think it is very important so I'm gonna mark it as you know full five star now let's click next and here we have got the section two which talk about budget so here I would like to go with $2,000 budget and here we go here we can see these options are for $2,000 if I select this 1500 here again, we can see we have got this option of 1500 and we are not seeing the option eight here. So even if I select, you know, I would like to visit Australia. So here we are getting directly option of email address. Somebody select $2,000 here again, you know, we are getting this $2,000 one and then this email address. So in this way, guys, we can also create a branching scenario which is really a powerful way to apply proper logic to it. And now I would like to add my email address. In this way, guys, we can fill it and submit it. So here we can see your response is submitted, submit another response. Then again, you can actually, you know, um, make the entry unique for everyone. So it's up to you if you would like to do that. Now I am back in my form and here I see one response received. So let's click on it. And here you will find a visual representation of all your collected response in a very good way. We can see the use of charts, pie charts, such that it looks really nice. And if you are not a fan of this kind of interface, you can also open the data in Microsoft Excel and that will actually give you a good way to extract information out of collected response. So here we can see the data is getting ready and there we go. So in this way guys, also we can see all this data together ready to be utilized. Now let me go back here in form and we also have got this option to present. 
So basically, this is a very innovative way to get more data when you know we are together, especially in case of presentation. Now let me exit from it and let's close this. So in this way guys, we can create form. If you would like to create quiz, you need to click on create quiz. So here we go. It also looks like Microsoft form. And in this way guys, we can quickly create this quiz. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And if you have got any kind of questions or doubt in your mind regarding Microsoft Form, do let us know and comment down below. And I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.